Hey YouTubers, this is Rob Muffet. I haven't done a treasure or metal detecting video in a long time. I was talking to somebody and they wanted me to do a video on the local places you could go here in South Florida to metal detect. And I was going to do one. Um, I know a lot of places. I've been here a long time. My family's been here a long time. But I started thinking, you know, there's not a whole lot of people in my subscribers that live here in South Florida. They live all over. So I'm going to do a quick video on where you can find really good places to metal detect and treasure hunt just about no matter where you live in the United States and you're going to do that by using Google search if you've never used the Google search what you can do is go to their site where they have their old newspapers and you'll be amazed they have hundreds and hundreds of newspapers uh, digitized where you can search them online and look in your local area going back in many cases to the early 1800s or even earlier it's quite amazing uh, let, let's go to the one here in Miami I've already plugged in Miami River Treasure Gold I'll, I'll show you a little site too down here where if you want to learn how to use different words in your search and leave words out or to define your searches better um, it's it's a uh, uh, how to search in Google effectively. It's a little website somebody put up. It's got a lot of good information on how to search Google uh, good without wasting a lot of time. But let, let's go back to the Miami site. This is the newspapers starting in 1860. Hard to believe. Um, I plugged in Miami River Treasure Gold. We're going to search the archive. And this is going to show the stories in the archive that have those words in it. And the first one here that I looked a few minutes ago, it's about um, a guy way back <laughs> you're not going to believe this 1913 he was he's a jeweler he's digging in his yard and he found some chunks of gold that had been melted down and he said there was about twenty five dollars worth which back then is a little over an ounce probably and actually gives the address of where he was at or the location in, in, in uh, Florida in, in Miami and more than likely it was people from uh, uh, either salvaging the wrecks back then or it could have been pirates uh, from that time uh, uh, melting down treasure uh, to make into ingots um, and it'd be an excellent place to go and look to see if you could find more uh, there are a lot of old stories about stuff being uh, on the Miami River let's go back to another one um, this one is about a very early use of a, a metal detector in 1938 and the places they went searching with it then there's one here I, I like a lot it's a not too too long ago um, 1913 <laughs> there is a couple of fellas Alfred Peacock he and another fellow went up to the New River and they looked for a Spanish shipwreck on the shore right above the New River and I've seen where some other people, the old timers, went in that area too, and they found some stuff. And that was well before a metal detector, so that would be a place to look at if you could define it more. And there was one more place on the river. I think it's on the other page. Let's see. Well, I don't see it here. Uh, there's a fella in one of the articles I lost where he was in the 50s he went and dredged up a place on the Miami River and I have some old books from like 1904 that talk about uh, dredges on the Miami River where they dredged up a golden bucket with jewels in it that must have been from the early Indians or could have been Spanish treasure from a wreck that the Indians left in the water um, so this is just in a few minutes you can find stuff you never knew about by just searching Google newspapers in your local area and do using different search words you can uh, narrow it down to find stuff you could go look with your metal detector this is a pretty cool site it's free um, I think you're really gonna like it you can find a lot of good information so I also wanna to tell everybody to thank you I've been leaving little uh, uh, links on the bottom of some of my YouTube videos where people can go to Amazon and, and buy stuff if it's related to my video and what they've been doing is been saving the links so in the future when they go to Amazon um, I end up getting a percentage if they buy something so it's been helping out I, I made a few bucks last month I was surprised um, so I really want to thank you people who've been you,
buying stuff on Amazon through my links or even saving them so later on when they buy something. It's been helping out. I really appreciate that. I'll leave a link down for the metal detectors. And like I said, go to the Google uh, newspapers, google.com slash newspapers, and you can do a search for the hundreds and hundreds of newspapers that are all over the country. And you can look up old stories that people have forgotten about. And you can take your metal detector and go search. Hope this little tip helps, guys. I try to put new stuff on every week. I have over 300 videos, and I add new videos every week. Thanks, everybody. I really appreciate it.